Hey guys, how's it going? It's Inferno Man again. Welcome back to another episode of the Heart Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke. If you guys missed in the last episode, we took on two gyms in one episode. We took on Janine's gym and then we took on Brock's gym. Thankfully, there were no casualties to that one. We beat them both. I wouldn't say with ease, but we did defeat them in the end, so that's all that matters. But in today's episode, we are definitely going to be facing Blaine's gym. If not, we'll be facing Blaine's gym and Blue's gym, meaning that the next episode could possibly be the finale, but we'll have to see. But yeah, that's the plans for this episode, but if you did miss the last episode, I highly suggest you go check it out. But without further ado, let's get right into the team recap. So I did actually commit to grinding Monty up in between episodes, and I finally got him to level 61. So here is Monty the Entei with Lava Plume, Fire Fang, Fire Spin, and Flamethrower. We got Phineas the Shiny Fion with Aqua Ring, Dive, Waterfall, and Surf. Rai the Dawn Fan with Strength, Earthquake, Giga Impact, and Rollout. Retro Mini Me the Obama Snow with Blizzard, Icy Wind, Wood Hammer, and Razor Leaf. Mark the Machamp with Cross Chop, Vital Throw, Seismic Toss, and Submission. And last but not least, Sadie the Shiny Zangoose with Slash, Close Combat, Air Slash, and X Scissor. So that is the entire squad. We are good to go. Let's go ahead and move forward. So we get our encounter for this route, of course. Let's go ahead and see what that is. And it's a Jigglypuff. Okay, so I know we haven't caught an Jigglypuff, and I'm pretty sure we haven't caught a Wigglytuff. Because I know I caught a Wigglytuff in the Pearl Life series because Trainer James asked me to. He donated $5 for me to name it hashtag I love Jinx. But we're going to go ahead and quick ball this thing. We still have a couple quick balls left. I might buy some for... I mean, we only needed a couple because we only have a couple of encounters left in the game, but thankfully Jigglypuff did stay in the ball, so it's a male Jigglypuff. I usually don't know what to name those because Jigglypuff is one of those Pokemon that seems like kind of feminine, you know, the entire line does. Uh, but let's go ahead and just name you Boba. Kind of like Boba T and Boba, like as in Boba Fett from Star Wars. So, I guess it kind of works. And I was trying to skip as many of these trainers as we could so we could have a shorter episode. You know, just take on Blaine and Blue and be done with it, but I'm sure we can fit it in under 20 to 25 minutes. I mean, within 20 to 25 minutes if we battle just a couple of them, but Steelix is a ground steel type, so it's okay for Monty, especially since he almost doubles Steelix's uh, level here, so let's go ahead and try Flamethrower. That should knock it out. Ground does not resist fire in any way whatsoever, and Steel is super weak to it, so it should knock it out. Yep, 100%. So, goodbye Steelix. Was that her only Pokemon? Or... Okay, she has another one. She has an Azumarill. Okay, we'll definitely switch up for that then. She should only have this and Steelix, I'm pretty sure. I mean, you want to, yeah, you want to expect a trainer to have, I mean, at this point in the game, you wouldn't expect them to, to have, that's not what I meant. You want to expect swimmers, that's what I mean, divers. They don't usually have more than two or three Pokemon, and most of the time they do have two Pokemon, so... I was hoping that she would only have the Azumarill and Steelix, and it turns out she does, so we one-shotted it. Nice. So I, I only ran into her because I did not see her coming, but hopefully we can avoid every other trainer on the route. I mean, if we battle one more, I think we should be fine, but we're going to try our best to avoid them all. And I think I still have some Max Repels, so we don't have to worry about running into any more Pokemon. I'm pretty sure I still had some left over after the last episode. They're not even in this box, are they? They're in here, yeah. See, we have one regular repel. Okay, we have 17 max repels. I need to sell those nuggets. I mean, I bought plenty of potions recently. So we don't... And we have plenty of money, so... I don't think we're in a tight spot where we really need to worry about how much money we have, but... You know, just seeing the nuggets in there makes me want to... Sell them, and that guy is really weird just spinning and swimming at the same time. Okay, we can avoid these guys. I'm pretty sure... Okay, nope. We're, we're close to, um, whatever the place is called anyway. I always forget what... It's it's M Cinnabar Island, yeah. I was about to say Mount Cinnabar, but that's not right. It's just Cinnabar Island, so... At least we can register the Pokemon Center here. I'm 99% sure that there is not 
a Pokemart, so we don't have to worry about potions anyway. I'm sure we have, I'm, I know we at least have 10 Hyper Potions. We have plenty of Max Potions and Full Restores. I think we're out of Super Potions. If not, we only have a couple. We don't really need to worry about those at this point in the game, though. So let's just go ahead and take on Blaine, and then I'll cut out the... Oh, see, there's blue right there. I'll cut out the part where I grab uh, Tropius from the PC and fly over to Viridian. It should be quick. I'm pretty sure that blue doesn't have any gym trainers in his gym, if I recall correctly. If not, there's a bunch of them, so... <laughs> I might have to fast forward through them, but we're going to have to head out to the sea again, because... Unless we had rock climb, it would be super easy for us to get up there, but we don't have rock climb, so... Okay, this is a different route, but I'm not really worried about getting encounters, so... We can go ahead and get use our max repels here until we get into Blaine's gym, which I'm pretty sure is just across the way over here. Just need to avoid this chick. Only looks back and forth. And I believe, yep, inside that cave there should be Blaine's gym, which means we're going to have to battle this chick here. But I'm going to go ahead and speed up for this battle, because I'm sure she shouldn't be much of a threat. She has a Raditz and it's her only Pokemon, so yeah, I'm very correct about that. So we didn't need to waste our time with her. Okay, we can just go around this trainer here, and this should be Blaine's gym. Oh wait, this is the Seafoam Island, so... I guess I was wrong. I'm gonna go ahead and check real quick, though. Oh, yep, this is the gym, okay. Yeah, I actually like how they set it up, because in original Gold and Silver, his gym is, like, messed up, and he's the only gym trainer there, but... Never forget to do the laundry. Okay, so how am I supposed to move through? Because it seems like this is the only passageway. Okay, God Zoe has one Pokemon and it's a Soul Rock. It's level 50, so it's pretty much a threat against Monty, but I'm just going to go ahead and use Lava Plume. We should be fine if I use Lava Plume. Okay, that brought it to half. Uh, it's going to use Embargo, which is not an attack, so we just can't use items. Which is only a big deal if we don't knock it out here and it does a strong attack, but... Ah, oh, very close. Okay, now it's blocking us from healing, but... Here's the thing, dude. I don't have any healing moves on, on Monty here, and you already blocked me from using moves, so... What's the point, my guy? Solrock has been knocked out. I'm really excited because tomorrow I'm supposed to be getting my first G Fuel ever because I ordered some last week literally and it's coming tomorrow from where I'm sitting right now so um I will not be live streaming tomorrow I mean yeah I'm not because my friend Anthony Hindrance Gaming you know who our pig knight was named after an ultra moon he's having a Tekken 7 tournament on his channel today and I'm trying to participate because He's been wanting me to drop in for a while, and I've never played Tekken 7, I'm still trying to practice because he actually gifted me the game. Um, okay, Hitmonchan's using Detect, which means this Flamethrower isn't going to do anything, but that's okay. I just want to make sure I stop by. I would consider streaming, even though once today's not one of my days where I stream, but I think it's better if I just leave tomorrow completely open and participate in that tournament. He did say he was taking a poll on deciding whether or not he's doing that this week or next week, but if he's having it this week, then yeah, I'll definitely be trying to participate at least. I mean, if there's a loser's bracket, I'd definitely be participating in that because there's no way I'm winning my first match, but okay, so we're going to have to go to the right now. I guess they kind of make it so you have to battle every gym trainer then. But battling this guy should just send him backwards. And we only have to battle the gym trainer uh, next, the next gym trainer. And then we should have it open for Blaine, I'm pretty sure, if he moves the right way. Okay, having Monty out against Kingdra is not a good idea. So we're going to go ahead and switch out to Retro Mini-Me, which is going to send up, set up the hail again. But that's, that's completely okay. See how many Pokemon he has, because I didn't look. This Kingdra is going to attack us with Hydro Pump. Okay, that didn't do very much at all. Uh, he's only got this Pokemon, so I'm just going to go ahead and use Blizzard. And that should do some hefty damage, even though this thing is Water-type. 
Hopefully knocks it out. Very close, very close. It's only going to use Dragon Dance though, so we only have to use a Razor Leaf here. It's going to be faster than us with Hydro Pump, but that's okay, because we have finished it off, so that's good. I wanted to give Monty plenty of spotlight this episode since we just brought it up to the levels of the rest of the team. Uh, if the next episode is, if the next episode is definitely the last episode next Wednesday, I'm going to have to grind up a lot because I'm trying to get to at least level 80 to prepare for red. So I'm going to have to go about 20 levels with the entire team. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, Landon, why can't you just hack in uh, <laughs> rare candies? And my answer to that is that every time you hack in rare candies, it clears your whole uh, medicine part of your bag and when you turn the hack off and save your game and reopen it, it only lets you keep one item at a time. So I know from plenty of experience that it's not the best idea to um, try to hack in rare candies because that means we're not going to be able to use potions against red and we don't want that. Okay, so the submission knocked it out. So, pretty sure this is that guy's only Pokemon? Yeah. God Bob has been defeated. I'm sorry for that god. Together with Blaine, we will rebuild our gym. Epic. Okay, I guess we do have to battle this guy, because God Bob decided to move in the way. So, so either we have to just battle this guy, or we have to battle the next guy as well. Okay, he's got an Amistar. So, I'm going to go ahead and switch out to Retro Mini-Me real quick. Oh, okay, we're going to have to use a potion, because I'm not sure if Retro is faster, so... We're going to go ahead and use a Hyper Potion. Okay, it's just going to use Spike Cannon, which is alright. We're going to go ahead and use Razor Leaf, which knocks it out, and there we go. Okay. Yep, so we have to battle this guy, I see. Because he's going to move backwards, so we can actually fight Blaine, so... He's got a Gold Duck, of course he's starting with a Water type. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We'll just switch out to Retro Mini-Me and use Razor Leaf once again. We haven't really used Wood Hammer that much, which is alright because it's a self-damaging move, but I feel like having it is not that important. But here's Blaine in this nice little white hat. So, let's go ahead and... Okay, starting off with the Grass type, so at least we have that. Let's go ahead and use the Flamethrower. That should knock it out, of course. It's level 54, but it's super effective against it, so it should knock it out. Yep, there we go. We're good to go. Level 62 for Monty. He's the second team member to get to level 62. Alright. Entrepreneur... Okay, sending out Slowking. So, it looks like we're gonna have to depend on Retro Mini-Me again. Okay, he only has three Pokemon. I... Don't remember that being a thing, but apparently it is. And this looking is level 59, so that's a, that's a tad bit scary. But it's okay because we took it out anyway. So goodbye, Slowking. Level 62 for Retro Mini Me Crobat. Okay, let's go ahead and switch up to Rye for this one. It's his last Pokemon, so if we use Rollout, possibly we'll get a one shot. But I'm not going to bet on it too much. We're just going to use the lot and see what happens. That air slash did... Oh, dang it. Flinched Rye. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to speed up then. Okay. Well, now I'm scared because it flinched Rye both times with air slash there. Okay, now it's going to use mean look. That's okay. I don't really care. You got to stop flinching, dude. Oh my gosh. What is the chances of Air Slash cr uh, flinching someone? Because it's... Rice flinched every single time. There we go, thankfully. Okay, that was close, but Rai pulled through and knocked out Blaine's Crobat. So there we go, our seventh gym badge. All we have to do is fight Blue and we are good to go. So there we go, we got the Volcano badge, fantastic. Only 15 minutes in, so, you know, we have 5 to 10 minutes to battle Blue. If he is the only trainer in his gym, it should be awfully quick. I'm going to have to swim back to the Pokemon Center to get Tropius, but that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and cut right here, so I'll be back at, um, in Viridian City in 3, 2, 
one. Now, okay, so here we are back in Viridian City. This should be pretty quick. It's 20 minutes right now from when I'm recording this, so I'm pretty sure we'll be able to make it before 25 minutes for sure. So let's go ahead and make our way through this gym. It looks like there are gym trainers. I don't know if we can possibly skip any of them. Doesn't look like it. But we'll have to see. See, that's going to bring us down to those. So we don't want to go that way. Let's go this way. Yeah. And then either have... Okay, we don't want to go to the orange arrows at all. Um, on the left there. So this will bring us right here. That will bring us... to the no-no <laughs> so we can't go that way that will bring us to the no-no hold on so that will bring us back to where we are right now going right will bring I mean going yeah to the red arrow bring us up over ah oh, I see so it'll bring us up over okay yeah i see okay so this is the right way i see it now that one was a little bit more confusing but i got it then once again we don't want to go to the orange arrows so the left isn't where we want to go like either of the left ones looks like we want to go this direction all right and i'm assuming this just brings us up here which will oh no no Oh, okay, it just brought us to a trainer. We're good. We're good. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to have to plan differently for the next time we go through. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and cross-chop this thing. Knocks it out. Uh, a bomb of snow. Okay, that should be another easy cross-chop kill. There we go. Good job, Mark. Okay. So up will bring us basically to any of those arrows. Okay, this one brings us right here. I'm assuming we want to go to this arrow. Yes, because that brings us to the platform. Okay, so we only have to fight one gym trainer. It works out. So here we are at blue. The final Cantonian gym badge. This will be badge number 16 for the entire series. Let's go ahead and see what blue's got in store for us. He's got six Pokemon. His name is Entrepreneur Mia, and he's starting off with the Registeel. Okay, so I'm pretty sure at this point in the game, the Regis don't have explosion anymore I hope so I mean even if they do it doesn't matter because mark is faster and this should knock it out considering it is stabbing super effective and we are six levels which I'd say is solid so close so close okay it's using iron defense so we should be good okay I should have expected the full restore I was about to say something about how I was gonna regret using cross chop but We'll go ahead and use Mark's final cross chop, which we might regret later, but it's okay. Mark's got other fighting type moves. Cross chop just so happens to be his toughest one. Okay, he's using charge beam, which does not that much. Seismic toss takes it out. Alright, good job, Mark. Sending out a swallow. Okay, so... I would switch out to retro, but he is part grass, and I don't want to set up hail yet, so... We're going to go ahead and send out Rai, who hopefully will not miss his rollout, especially with the double team here from Swallow. Okay, of course he misses, but that's okay. He's sending out Empoleon. Okay, that's that's no bueno. Of course he switches out. Of course he switches out. Why wouldn't he switch out? The one time you don't miss, and it, it's it, it's when they switch out to an Empoleon. Rai was my favorite Pokemon on the team. And now he's gone. Well, we're going to have to carry on. I don't know who we're going to add to the team. You know, I feel like at this point, we're, we're fine with rolling with five Pokemon, so we don't really have to add a, a sixth team member. Okay, that's that's scary. So I think we can go in with red, uh, into red with what we have, but we'll have to see, because this battle isn't over yet. Okay, vital throw, 
Mark... Okay, Swellow again, which means we're going to have to send out Retro Mini-Me, because we have no other option, so... Aerial Ace was scary, but we knocked it out with Blizzard, so at least we have that. Two more Pokemon. No, three, actually. Pretty sure. Primeape. Okay. So it's fighting type, which means it's scary for for Sadie. So I'm going to send out Monty just because, once again, we don't have any psychic types. So it's not like we have anything that much better. We have a Pokemon with a flying type move, but it is normal type. So I'm going to just... I think I should set up Fire Spin, at least so it gets damaged every turn. Especially since it confused us now. So the Hail and Fire Spin will affect it. Monty's probably gonna... Okay, actually Monty did not hit themselves, so... Lava Plume does some hefty damage, almost knocking it out. Cross Chop is probably gonna hurt a bit. Not too much, I hope. Okay, yeah, it did a lot of damage, but... We still got the, the Fiery Vortex going on, and... Blue might use another Hyper Potion or whatever he uses on his Pokemon. Because this will not knock him out. We just gotta hope that Monty... Okay, Monty, I'm gonna need you to not hit yourself. Okay, he's using a Floor Restore, okay. So, you hit yourself, but it's okay, because, you know... At least you're not getting attacked this turn. So we're gonna use a Hyper Potion. Cross Chop is gonna do less damage than the last time. Surprisingly. Uh, Fire Fang is gonna knock it out. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have come with Fire Fang originally. That's okay. He's got... Scizor! Okay, that's perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and Lava Plume. That's four times effective, so that knocks it out. Last Pokemon, a Bomb of Snow. Okay, that's perfect as well. Four times effective. Lava Plume will knock it out, and there we go. We have defeated the final Gym Leader. Unfortunately, with a casualty to our favorite team member, but... Everybody made it out alive, and... I'm just gonna try to look at it from the bright side. At least I don't have to grind up a full team of six for red. It's just gonna be a little bit of... A hefty situation because I'm gonna have one free spot so we'll have to see how that goes but I'm definitely gonna have to prepare before next Wednesday or next Tuesday when I record because I'm recording I record these episodes on Tuesday so definitely gonna have to prepare but yeah that's gonna do it for this episode guys so if you did enjoy make sure you slap that like button subscribe if you're brand new to the channel Ring that notification bell so you get notified about future episodes of this series and other videos on my channel. Answer the question down below. I think I said that, but I'm not sure. But just make sure you do that. This is Inferno Men Burning Out, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.